Today we start with the fourth part of our video series. In the last video we talked about the extensor hallucis longus muscle. This muscle is a part of the medium muscle chain. In this video series we want to explain the complete muscle chain. But don't be afraid, we will go through it step by step. First of all we have to test all the joints from the foot to the hip. If we find the weakness we have to treat it. Only when all muscles are working together in coordination can they do their job again and stabilize the joints. Then the joints are in line and can be loaded optimally. Today we are talking about the posterior tibial muscle. This muscle makes a flexion and inversion. In a healthy state the muscle has the task of stabilizing and buffering the ankle joint. If the muscle no longer works properly, its flexibility is lost. As a result, there is an increased pressure on the inner side. In conventional medicine, this is often referred to as ankle atrosis. What seems like a small detail is actually of immense importance. Just one weakness in the system leads to a compensation. That affects the whole body. At the young age, it is often not noticeable. Over time, the disbalance spreads through the complete body. It is therefore important to understand that the disease develops over many years and not overnight. To test the muscle, it is important to perform an extension in the ankle joint. The ankle should be approximately 90 degrees. It is also important that the client relaxes the foot. In this test we do an eversion and inversion. If the client feels tension in this area, the test is positive. To treat the muscle, we should concentrate on the Golgi tendon apparatus. Let's take a deeper look. The tendon must be stimulated in this area. Sometimes it is difficult to find the tendon, so let's look at the practical example. To be able to feel the muscle better, it is recommended to perform an inversion in the ankle joint. This tenses the muscle and makes it easier to feel the tendon. To stimulate the nerve it is necessary for the client to relax the foot. Here you will find the point for stimulation. Please take your time, it's hard at the beginning, but after a while it gets easier. Sometimes it is difficult to relax. Because the muscles have been ill for a long time, they are very sensitive. This becomes especially clear when you treat them side by side. That's why you have to be careful when you treat it. A pain scale from 1 to 10 can also be useful. The scale should not exceed 7. It is therefore advisable to get regular feedback from the client. At the end you can test the muscle again. If the feeling of tension is reduced compared to the first time, your treatment was successful. In order to understand the origin of a disease, the body must be regarded as a whole system. The basis for the stability of the body starts with the feet. Therefore, it is more important to focus on the foundation. The foot is very wide at the front. But if we look at the modern shoes, we can see the cut is very slim. This is a big problem. The toes have the task of balancing the body, but if we don't give them enough room, they are not able to do the job properly. Please keep in mind that this treatment method can only be successful if the client is willing to change their footwear. Only if the shoe is flexible and has a wide cut, the toes can do their job and balance the body. More videos will be released in the coming months. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments. If you want to support us, you can do so via the channel membership and the subscription. This gives us the opportunity to help as many people as possible.